I'm so thankful for the pedal movie because it was a catalyst for this collaboration. And as much as I wanted this collaboration to happen and I've been dreaming about it, it was, I'm not sure I ever would have approached Zach about it unless we were asked by, you know, the pedal movie and reverb.com to do it. But talking to Zach about it, he was kind of like equally as into it as, and excited as I was, which was so fun for me because I work for him. It's just kind of like really cathartic and full circle for me to be able to collaborate with ZVEX in this way. Joel Corti and I uh, have collaborated on a pedal together um, as a result of both of us being in the pedal movie. And um, I think that the collaboration was pretty damn easy because uh, we worked together for many years uh, at ZVEX FX uh, designing pedals and shared a lot of ideas. I mean, the Fuzz Factory is probably my favorite pedal of all time. Working at ZVEX was the reason I fell in love with guitar pedals. So, and I've actually been thinking about this design for years. You know, ever since I designed this platform with, uh, you know, six knobs and three switches and the dip switches and, and everything, it's like I've thought about this thing. I've really wanted to make this for some time. The collaboration process was very smooth because Joel did everything and I simply approved it. <laughs> he did all the heavy lifting. I wanted to show him how much I loved the way the Fuzz Factory interacted with the low pass, the resonant low pass filter on the Condor. The uh, Fuzz Factory goes into a filter that, uh, that Joel came up with and the filter, uh, because it has a lot of harmonics to work with, has got a, just a beautiful texture that comes out of that. That's the thing I wanted to make is just like, have the Fuzz Factory in here, you know, with the fat options and all of the control that Chase Bliss is known for. The digital control of analog technology and presets and ramping and MIDI and expression control, all that stuff in our platform with the resonant low pass filter from the Condor. Bliss Factory because, uh, you know, Chase Bliss and Fuzz Factory put together. Well, I actually wanted to call it the Fuzz Factory, and I was talking to Zach about it, and I he, he just debuted this artwork, and I just loved it. And I was like, can we please use that artwork? And he was like, well, we probably shouldn't call it the Fuzz Factory because that's just, you know, have it be its own name. And, and I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you know, you're right. What about the Bliss Factory? And he's like, that works for me. And I'm like, can we still use this this art? I just think it's so cool. So he, yep, he gave me the okay. And he, you know, instead of Fuzz Factory, it says Bliss Factory. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
When Reverb first approached me about the idea of brand collaborations for the pedal movie, my first thought was death by audio, and I pretty much demanded to work with them. For me, uh, they were highly influential in uh, the start of Earthquaker devices. I really loved all their effects, their aesthetic, everything about them seemed so cool. And then, you know, Heather and Ollie and everybody who work there are super rad people. They're like just one of the companies that I think is one of the greatest pedal companies. They make any type of pedal you could possibly think of, and they're just really the most nicest down-to-earth people. Ollie had this idea that we use one of our pedals' uh, circuit boards, and we both develop two new circuits that would fit into it. And uh, I picked the circuit board, and then we both independently worked on our programs for the pedal. I heard what Jamie had programmed, which is like this insane synth, fuzz, bazooka, wild sound. I was like, I better make something cool too. Had gone back and forth with these different ideas and then eventually came up with this like multi intertwined delay filter, which just sounded insane. I was like, oh my goodness, this is wild. Yet, you can also scroll it back and just do some super psychedelic delays. I love the art on Death by Audio pedal, so I really wanted them to work on it. Yeah, I pitched that idea to Ollie. He was way into it. He turned it around super quick. Ollie came up with the name Time Shadows. I was kind of racking my brain trying to think of something cool for it. I think I sent Jamie like maybe a hundred different names. And it was like within five minutes, they were all off the top of his head, you know, seemingly off the top of his head. This is it, Time Shadows. It shows both of our unique styles and also highlights some similarities to it. My aim was just to make something cool with, you know, limitations, with just the three controls. Like, what can I do that will be a lot of fun and interesting? Might not work in every situation, but it's always going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to the pedal movie being released. I'm curious to see what, other, what the inside of some of these other different effects pedal company makers' places look like. I just think there's so many great stories um, in within the pedal industry and so many great relationships that it's extremely exciting to me that more people will become aware of that. I think what I'm most looking forward to about the pedal movie being released is just you know, showing this industry that has kind of been my life for the last 15 or so years. It's a, I think it's a pretty cool and unique, like small section of a pretty small industry. There's a lot of camaraderie, a lot of innovation, a lot of uh, people who kind of think outside the box and take more chances. You know, it's just made it a more creative, welcoming and friendly environment, I think. If you don't enjoy this pedal movie, I'm gonna come over to your house and we're gonna play Nintendo games until your fingers are very painful. And then I'm gonna be like, now it's time to watch the movie and you won't be able to resist because your fingers will be very painful.